previously with friends like these. I feel like I've seen a totally different side of you. Yeah, I have with you. I know I'm a bitch. You're a bitch. Yeah. I just feel storm brewing. Who needs enemies? It would do her better if she got some brain cells. Ashley is the biggest two-faced bitch. Uh, get over yourself. She acts like little miss. Oh my god, I'm so amazed. She has no class. But she's also a massive bitch. Shut up your arse. Tonight, the queens of the house are in the dock. Each housemate you have manipulated into your group has consciously contributed to a huge divide in the house. They don't think I'm the sole reason for the divide. Do I cause the divide? Absolutely not. Could you please describe your relationship with Helen? I couldn't have possibly asked for a better friend than Helen. Aww. Helen was aggressive to me, she was hostile and she was abusive. This merely touches on the scale of Helen's horrific reign of terror. Can I wake up? That woman has the biggest chip on her shoulder. She is aggressive, man. She is. I'm fed up of being made out to be the only bitch in this house. I have actually had enough. Dear 67, 9.35 a.m. Housemates are waking up to a stormy Sunday. I was going to exercise today. Dear Storms Brew. I must say, this weather is appalling. The rainfall is atrocious. The sky is grey all around. And this today is what I call a shit day. Looks like we made it. You know, if we get past the, uh, the next eviction, we'll have to sing that, won't we? Looks yeah, like everyone stand we made up. <laughs> Look how far we've come, my baby. Hopefully we'll try and get Ashley to smile during that. She d she doesn't smile during that week. session. She smiles on Friday when something's going on. Do you think Ashley's all right? Or is she just tired? I don't know. I'm a bit worried about her. I know. I think her homesickness has just stepped up an notch, really. Yeah, I think so. But there's too. nothing that can be done at this point. It might just persist now for the rest of the week. Because there's nothing we can say now anymore. Because we've been saying her for, yeah. saying to her for weeks now, concentrating yeah. on the positive. And then feeling the same in mine. So it's like I, it's like when I'm feeling shitty, she's in a good mood. And she's feeling shitty, I'm back in the yeah, good mood. Yeah, we're never in the same we're mood at the same just, time. Yeah. It's it's cyclical. It moves around in cycles all the time. It comes God, and it goes. It? And it just it, please, please. it never goes. Helen is talking to Big Brother. How does it feel to be in the final week? I feel like it's a bit of a blessing, really. I'm here with, like, one of my really good friends. I'm here with Pav, who I've got, like, close to as well. So I'm glad to be experience, experiencing it with them too. I think Ashley, for an 18-year-old girl, is very boring. I just think, oh, God, you've got, like, one week left. Just put some effort in and smile. And I think when she does put this, like, sweet, cute, I'm so innocent act on, well, it is just an act. She is, nine times out of ten, very grumpy. And then all of a sudden it's like this very sweet, over-the-top child comes out. She's either 18 going on 85, or she's 18 going on 8. I can't wait to get back to normality, to have my normal way of thinking again. Yeah. Normal conversations. Yeah. Like, without having to filter or consider what I say because people don't understand things. Yeah. Talk to people who don't constantly talk about themselves. Yeah, no. I was thinking that um, yesterday, maybe last night, in fact. Just like, none of my friends ever talk about themselves. Mm-hmm. 
like that. Like, Ooh, like yeah. we've experienced in here people who do only talk about themselves. I think my main struggle for the next week, obviously the uncertainty of the tasks and stuff and what's happening this week, but it's really I, uh, the, uh, one more week of listening to the same shit yeah. about yes. themselves. Yes. 100%. Twelve or five p.m. Pav and Ash are making their own fun. On the ledge, on the ledge, on the ledge. Right over. Click it over. Chris and Ashley are speculating about the week ahead. Um, there's definitely an eviction before Friday. So what they'll do is probably today or tomorrow announce who's... No, they don't do it like that, will they? I don't know how it's working with Helen. They us announce like the two who are up for Wednesday or something. No, everybody's up. Oh, of course. Everybody has a chance of going, apart oh, from Helen, even if she has the least amount of votes. She's not up. For going on she is up. Like this isn't vote. She can't be going up for this on week. Friday. They like this. They, they're wondering you be voting all week. I don't think she's up. No, but I don't think they, want, they, I want well, they can't all be voting for us to one and then not, not to start her. Yeah, but so why has she still got finalists written on the thing? Or why haven't we? Because she can't get kicked out on Wednesday, even if she yeah. has the lowest votes. I honestly don't think she'd be the person with the least votes to win anyway. I don't no, think she would be. I, think I do think would. a lot of people out there will vote for her to win. Up, it's a crazy mixed up world we lived in. It. We live yeah. in it, isn't it? Shock. Yeah. We lived in. We did live in. <laughs> lived. Definitely a past tense. Oh, no. <laughs> Coming up, Christopher holds court. Considering this brief, incomplete summary, which merely touches on the scale of Helen's horrific reign of terror, we can say with much conviction and certainty that this woman is the sole reason for the current divide in the Big Brother house. And a shock witness makes a case for the defence. Um, I'll tell you who I think was responsible. I think Chris and Ashley are responsible. And I'll tell you why. Because unlike Helen, Chris and Ashley sit in the corner of the house and slag housemates off. And when someone walks in, they turn around and say, hi, like nothing's happening. Four twenty two PM For today's task, the Big Brother house has been transformed into a courtroom as the housemates have been accused of being a house divided. As key protagonists in the divide, it is Ashley and Helen who will stand trial, each backed up by their own legal teams. Ashley's lead counsel is Christopher. Helen's defence will be led by Pav. Uh, I know why. Um, Ashley likes to have people around her who aren't as good looking, aren't as popular. We can't take that, man. You can. Yeah, you, you can. The deepest fuck. Yeah, you can. Fuck me, man. What the fuck? Do you want to know what they'll do to me? Yeah, they're going to go in hard. Chris, do you want to say it out loud and I'll, and I'll transcribe it for you? Um, say it in a way it comes naturally to you, which you'll find easy to read aloud. Um, Ah, oh, fuck nice. Um, just, just a fucking bitch. During the hearing, housemates past and present will be called to deliver their testimonies. Presiding over the court is behavioural expert Judge Judy James. Housemates, you may all be seated. You should all address me as your honour. Is that clear? Yes, yes Your Honour. Ashley, could you take the stand? Oh. Ashley, you will now stand trial. Before you take the stand, you must swear on the Big Brother rule book that you will tell the truth. Repeat after me. I, Ashley Coyle. I, Ashley Coyle. Swear to tell the truth. Swear to tell the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me, big brother. So help me, big brother. Ashley, you're now taking the stand. 
I am so nervous. <laughs> Miss Coyle, you entered the Big Brother house on the 6th of June and started your journey as a very lovable, bubbly character and was perceived by the young innocent lady of the house. However, over the past nine weeks, this doesn't seem to be the case. It seems you choose your friends wisely as people who would be at your beck and call to do whatever you wish. Each housemate you have collected and manipulated into your group has consciously contributed to a huge divide in the house. Your short whispered mumbling in group conversations make every situation awkward. And then it is you who gets up and leaves the group, knowing that your pack of friends will follow you, evidently highlighting that you are clearly the sole reason for the divide in the Big Brother house. Now's your chance to cross-examine the witness then. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Ask us some questions. Okay. Um, so, do you feel like you've contributed towards a divide in the house? Um, I realise I do I like play a big part in the divide in the house. I don't think I'm the sole reason for the divide. Okay, so um, when you feel like you have an issue with someone you would say is a friend or an acquaintance, you know, are you confident that in the past you've approached them directly or you feel like you've, you've said things behind their back? I have said things behind, behind people's back and I've never denied that when people have confronted me about it. Do you feel uh, honesty has been uh, an integral part of your experience in the Big Brother house? Mm. Thank you very much. No further questions, Joanna. Uh, Pav, you should now call your first witness to testify against Ashley. Mr. Ash Harrison. Ash, repeat after me. I, Ash, swear to tell the truth. I, Ash, swear to tell the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me, big brother. So help me, big brother. Ash, do you feel she was happy that her main competition to win big brother, namely Winston and Mark, have left the house? Yes. So you feel she's happier now that her competition has gone. Can you please elaborate? Yes, well, um, there's been three favourites in the house um, all the way through, and that's Ashley, Winston and Mark. And um, when Mark and Winston left, um, you could see that her and her friends... Objection. Were... Yes. The nature of his question was completely speculative and unconfirmed. There's no reason to suspect that Miss Cole ever uttered those words. Nice. Sustained. Thank you, Christopher. When you first joined the house, did Ashley make any effort to be your friend? Um, not at the beginning. After two weeks, we got to like see nominations and that. And um, she nominated me both weeks um, without actually getting to know me. And, so, and how did that make you feel? I was upset. Thank you very much. No further questions, Joanna. Thank you. Um, Pav, would you like to call your uh, second witness now, please? Uh, the second witness I'd like to call to the stand is Kimberly. Next housemate. Thank you. Kim, you've been friends with uh, both Ashley and Helen. Mm -hmm. Whose friendship do you value more and why? Um, well, when I was initially friends with Ashley, I thought, you know, we got on and everything was fine, but we didn't really have a strong bond. That's why I wasn't that offended when I had seen her, you know, slide me off behind my back. But what's most offensive is that she does it in a sly way that you wouldn't actually know. She'd never say it to your face, but she would go up in the pod with someone else or in the diary room and completely slag you off. I have never really had much of a confrontation with Helen. I've had one, like, really small argument, and her, you know, because she said it to my face, and I went up to her and I spoke to her, and just how she dealt with confrontation was so much more efficient and mature that I would always value Helen over anyone in the house, really, just because of how upfront she is. Love, Helen. No further questions. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks, Kim. Christopher, you may now begin your defense of Ashley, please. Ashley has strove to make amends with any housemate she has ever had difficulty with. She has displayed determination to overcome problems and has put effort into building relationships with all housemates, in spite of the many nasty comments which have been directed at her. She has never brushed aside criticism, even when the words of others have been deeply wounding and often unfair. She has been a positive, upbeat person and an asset to the house. She has been fearless and strong throughout and has never crumbled, even when Helen has attacked her publicly in the presence of the whole house. Christopher, you should now begin questioning Chris. Chris, how would you describe your friendship with Ashley? She has all the qualities I treasure most in my closest friends. A uh, great sense of humour, thinks for herself, super smart, and a lot of fun to be around, very warm and very sympathetic. Um, how has the defendant contributed to creating a positive, upbeat atmosphere in the house? 
I think people have just really enjoyed it. I think that goes for everyone. You know, sometime or other, I've just really enjoyed something that Ashley said or done, and just her, her presence is uplifting and welcome. Without question or doubt, I shall continue to be friends with her long after this process is finished. And my second witness is Danielle. Danielle. Oh, hey, someone's it. looking booby. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Miss McMahon. Hello. Could you please describe your relationship with the defendant? My relationship with Ashley has been amazing. I think she's a very credible young woman. I think she can definitely hold her own. And I like to think that she's just an all-round great person. OK, so would you say that Ashley has been misunderstood in the house? And maybe she can be a bit off the mark, off the cuff, rather. <laughs> um, you know, but... It's all in jest. There's not a bad bone in that girl's body. Do you think Helen sees Ashley as the, really only, as the only other person who could really challenge her authority in the house? Definitely. Ashley is the only one. Okay. Thank you. No further questions, Your Honour. Thanks, Danielle. Thank you. Love you, Danielle. You. Oh, I'll see you at the end of the week. Can I wake up? Thank you, Ashley. Um, you can now return to your legal team's desk. Oh, fuck. Okay, repeat after me. I, Helen Wood. I, Helen Wood. Swear to tell the truth. Swear to tell the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me, big brother. So help me, big brother. Christopher, if you could start by giving your opening statement. Helen's behaviour at times has been both reckless and out of control. She's been bossy, domineering and extremely stubborn and unapologetic about her behaviour without fully acknowledging the effect that her sometimes malicious words and behaviour have on others. She's the second oldest housemate and yet one could be forgiven for thinking she was the youngest and the most immature. These opinions and much more have been shared by both housemates past and present who have been unfortunate enough to have had run-ins with Helen. Considering this brief incomplete summary which merely touches on the scale of Helen's horrific reign of terror we can say with much conviction and certainty that this woman is the sole reason for the current divide in the Big Brother house. Thank you, Christopher. Uh, you should now begin your prosecution of Helen, please. Helen, how have you contributed to the current divide in the Big Brother house? Um, I, haven't con I haven't contributed. So you accept no responsibility for the no. current divide in the house at all? I have brought negativity to the house. Um, do I cause the divide? Absolutely not, and I strongly disagree with that. But Helen, wouldn't you, don't you think the negativity results in a divide? Why would people want to be around someone who's going to talk them down all the time? Although I'm perceived apparently to be rude, I do think as a whole I'm more of a positive housemate. Okay. No further questions, Your Honour. Thank you. Christopher, um, you should now call your first witness to testify against Helen, please. Um, I call Chris to the stand. Chris, how is your current relationship with Helen? A little strained. Throughout this process, I've had sort of highs and lows with Helen, um, and a massive chunk of that was a high. Chris, do you find Helen mainly responsible for the conflict in the house, would you say? Oh, yes, uh, wholly, yeah. You do? Yeah. OK, thank you. Okay. Helen, would you like to respond to that, please? Um, I'm, I can't sit here and say that I don't cause conflict. I know I do. I, I know my language is terrible. I know I can come across as aggressive. But yeah, I think you're one of the main people that causes the divide amongst, as well as Ashley. It just, it's, it's self-explanatory. I don't want a divide. I'm happy with a group. It's someone else causing a divide and you're included. Okay. Christopher, you could now call your second witness, thank you. And I call Matthew to the stand. Mr. Davis, please describe your relationship with Helen in the house. She was rude to me, she was aggressive to me, she was hostile and she was abusive. Helen chose to confront me in a very aggressive, malicious manner, standing over me to her, argue with me and attacking me based on my physical appearance. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, to sum up, in what ways is Helen really responsible for the current divide in the house? She holds influence over a lot of her friends about who they should be friends with. And I think she's solely responsible for the cliques and the divide in the house from day one. Thank you, Matthew. No further questions, John. You're welcome. OK, 
Okay, Pav, uh, you should now begin your defence of Helen, please. Helen has been a popular housemate with a consistent group of friends throughout her time in the house. Although she has a close group of friends, she makes an effort with all. She loves spending time in a group, creating and playing games, and gives it all in each task. When problems have occurred in the house, she has proven time and time again that she makes the effort to clear the air for the sake of the other housemates, so the divide disappears. She has always involved me and made sure I'm okay, even when others have made a point of not accepting me. People say she is aggressive, immature, but the house would not be the same without her. If people took more time to get to know her and stop judging her on her behaviour when she's forced into an argument, they will see she's not aggressive, but she's just passionate. Thank you. Would you like to call your first witness to defend Helen, please? Yeah, uh, my first witness I'd like to call is Ash. Ash, I understand that you actually had an argument within the first sort of week of, of being here with Helen. Um, and now you're, you're the very best of friends with her. Um, oh, yeah. Is it, is it true that once you get to know her and you spend more time with her, you do see a different side and you know you almost forget about the aggression, you almost forget about the, yeah. the negative uh, views that she's portrayed in? Yeah, that's just like, uh, just part of her character. Obviously, she is like aggressive in the way she speaks and like, if you just realise that that's um, just how she reacts and she don't mean it like she's being nasty, She's j it's just the way she kind of talks and it's her kind of banter. It's just kind of the way, the way she talks half the time. <laughs> she's just very passionate about what she's saying. And, Pab, just to clarify, you actually use the term aggression to describe the person you're defending, is that right? Uh, I'm not actually aware that I use I it. I have it on court record here, actually, so I just yeah. want to clarify. Yeah, I'll stick up for that. I mean, aggression can be part of a characteristic at some times, but that doesn't mean that's necessarily why there's a divide in the house. My second witness I would like to call is Steve. <laughs> yeah. H, Ash, I love you. You're doing so well. I'm so proud of you. I want you to keep doing exactly what you're doing. I'm rooting for you. Stephen, silence in court. I will gavel you. Sorry, um, Josh. Pav, you should now question the witness. Stephen, could you please describe your relationship with Helen? My relationship with Helen started with the fact that she was very warm the second I entered into the house. I couldn't have possibly asked for a better friend than Helen. Aww. When the three new housemates came, how did Helen react? And was this different to how Ashley reacted? Helen um, embraced it. You know, she, she got on with all the housemates that came in at the beginning and also the three new people that came in. She got on very well with Bianca, very well with Zoe. She made an effort with everybody. Whereas I felt Ashley um, held back an awful lot, which is something we've seen quite often from Ashley throughout the whole series, where she stays in her little group of mates, uh, whereas Helen's out there and tries to make an effort with everybody. <laughs> who do you think is responsible for the divide in this situation? Um, I'll tell you who I think is responsible. I think Chris and Ashley are responsible. And I'll tell you why. Because unlike Helen, Chris and Ashley sit in the corner of the house and slag housemates off. And when someone walks in, they turn around and say, hi, like nothing's happening. Helen, I would much rather have a friend in my life who's going to tell me to my face exactly what the situation is. That's why Helen deserves to be in the final and the two people that have caused the divide don't deserve to be there in my opinion. Thank you very much. No further questions, Your Honour. Thank you, Pav. OK, thank you. Uh, Helen, would you like to take a seat? Yeah. Housemates, we've heard all the evidence from both sides. Thank you. The court is now adjourned while I make my ruling. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Your Honour. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up, Judge Judy delivers her verdict. I think neither of you like to back down and I think a lot of that has accounted for particularly the split that we see now in the final week of the competition. And Helen's had enough. I'm sick of grannyfied, boring bastards sitting in corners all over the house slagging everyone off. It 35 p.m. Helen and Ashley are standing trial in Big Brother's courtroom, faced with the charge of causing the house divide. Yes. Judge Judy James has called the housemates back into court to deliver her final verdict. Housemates, please sit down. Hmm. 
Would the defendants please stand up for the final ruling? Thank you. This court has been called to address the issue of the house divide. What we have here are two strong, feisty women, the last two left standing in the house. I think you both like to fight your own corner. I think neither of you like to back down and I think a lot of that has accounted for particularly the split that we see now in the final week of the competition. Ashley, I think that many weeks ago you could have turned into a weepy teenage victim and made Helen look extremely bad and I think it's to your credit that you didn't do that so I respect that. I think that you were guilty of things that would have caused the divide or made it worse. Um, there was the uh, plotting in the all-girl task that we saw. You fooled Helen. Helen, you're clearly a fiercely loyal, warm and protective woman. We've heard that from a lot of people today. I think it was extremely noticeable though that that was from your own group. People like Stephen particularly, hugely passionate at saying how wonderful you were. And I think he was very much part of what's called the cool gang. So I think that's really where that extends to. Whether you have disallowed the rest of the group from joining that gang and getting the warmth of your loyalty, etc., I'm not totally sure. I have to say, it was your own team that damned you, though, and the words came out of their own mouth, and the word was aggression, it kept repeating. So I hereby find Helen guilty of being the one <laughs> causing the house the divide. Thank, Thank you, Your Honour. This is Big Brother. Housemates should all rise for the exit of the Honourable Judge Judy James. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't love you. Mm. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well done. Oh, that hurt. Wow. <laughs> right, can I get this fucking minging outfit? Nine or two p.m. The winning legal team are enjoying their reward in the pod. Let her be pissed off. That woman has the biggest chip on her shoulder. She thinks the whole world is out together and everyone's against her. No, I am not. I have tried to see the best in Helen on was, so many times. We've all tried. We've all tried to wear blue in the face there to make friends with her. And it's impossible and you just get disappointed. No, I, I, of course, we're all on the same page. It's just raised taste. Cheers. Congratulations. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Congratulations. Good work. Thank and you thanks, thanks so up. much for Final today. Week of Brother 2014. Final week. Final yes. week. Final week. Well done. Helen's defence team are discussing her character. Bells. <laughs> She is aggressive, man. She is. <laughs> but the thing is, right, like, once you get to know her, you just never see that side, man. No. Or you never experience you the do, wrath of it. But like, yeah, I mean, you do, but it's like, when she's being aggressive, I always am her for it. Like, because she's just your mate. She is aggressive, man. I don't want to hide away from that fact. Like, 100% she is. She is. But I don't see it in a bad light. Yeah, I don't see it in a bad light, but I can see, I see how it can be perceived in a bad light. 100%. That's what she needs to realise, that, like, people are going to, see it and think it's, it's a, a really negative thing when it isn't when you know her and you're close to her. Helen is talking to Big Brother about today's trial. I'm fed up of like being made out to be the only bitch in this house. How the fuck have I caused a divide in the house? How? When all I ever do is try and encourage groups. The only reason why I get mad is because I'm sick of grannified, boring bastards sitting in corners all over the house, slagging everyone off. So frustrating. I'm fucking so pissed off that I just constantly get, like, slagged off for for doing things in this house and she gets away with fucking murder. She's so much more rude than me. So, she's rude. She speaks to her friends like shit. I don't speak to my friends the way she does. But, you know, no one's asked about that. 
me made out to be like this raging bull that just goes around like annoyed all of the time. It's always me. It's always me. Do you not like, do you not think I get fed up with it every now and then? I bet it just it, sometimes it's just like give me a fucking break. Do you feel like you're being labelled? I am labelled. I'm not stupid. Of course, I'm labelled. It's not that that bothers me. I came in here with a label. Jesus Christ. I'm known as a prostitute. I don't think I could have been labelled anything worse. I'm never escaping that label. That's the, along with whatever, like, I've, what other names I've gained in this place. I'm bothered that people don't fucking like see you know that I am actually a good person as well I do have days where I don't just go around biting everyone's head off I don't and when I am biting someone's head off there's usually a reason because I've listened to the bullshit for hours and hours or days on end I'm not asked about a task I'm not asked about losing I'm asked about being called the the sole purpose as to why there's been a divide in the house that is just like literally stabbed me straight in my bloody in my gut and turned the knife that's how it felt when that came out I just thought thanks a lot so everything that I am as a person and everything I thought I represented is apparently bollocks but the fact that it's now announced on here that I have been called the main, like, divider in the house. That, out of everything I've been called in this house in the last ten weeks, and there's been a lot of things, that is the biggest insult I've received. So, yeah, if I'm being honest, it really did piss me off. Ten thirty one pm Helen and Ash are talking about Judge Judy's verdict. This is what pissed me off, right? Uh, the only thing in the entire process was when uh, Judge Judy James said um, about us lot being the cool kids again. Yep. So as soon as someone labels us the cool kids, even though I know I'm cool You as look fuck, like you segregate people. <laughs> but you even look like you push people yeah, away. When we're the cool kids, it's like saying, like... We Basically, out. them are just better than them. Yes. yes. And that's not how we act. At school, that's fine. Yeah. And that's what annoyed me. And she absolutely and killed us that, off by I saying that. that. At school today. Yeah. I talk about when I'm at school, I know I was one of the cool kids. Yeah. So you talk about when you're at school, you was one of the cool kids. If you look at their group, Ashley wouldn't have been one of the cool kids. Chris admitted he wasn't one of the cool kids. Christopher probably wasn't one of the cool kids. But people who were similar, do attract similar people. Even Winston, Winston admitted that he was a bit of a geek at school no. and he didn't really have any mates and shit. And now he's like the, he one of the guess. main, yeah, one of the main cool kids in here. So I think it's ridiculous where they like hammer us a bit for being at the cool kids. That's so why it's ridiculous because we're not actually the cool kids and there isn't a divide. There's a made up thing that there is like a major divide. I mean, there is a little bit, but it's not like we're fucking red team and blue team, we are against them. No, no matter what no, happens, we're ridiculous. arguing. We might just sit separately because they've got one thing to talk about and we've got another thing to talk about. You are Ashley's cool. feeling know, thirsty. Can I have a little sup? It half the fucking drink. I did not. All right, it's fucking all down around my chin. All right, junkie, <laughs> go on. Yeah. Tell you what, Ashley, yeah, that's not sexy. I, I'm not planning to be sexy towards you. Oh God, why did you say it like that? Stop saying things like that. Because you said it wasn't oh sexy. God. My boyfriend's probably watching thinking she's not acting sexy as well. But he, ah. he's... Uh, Oh. oh, don't, don't, don't think about it. Today's I'm a good not day. thinking about it because I'm too drunk because I will start crying. No, and um, so, um, yeah, let's not. Oh, Thanks cheers. Thanks. <laughs> What's the good in returning that to me? What can I do with that? <laughs> 
as I was saying, right, because I am <laughs> the leader and I should mm -hmm. speak. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, uh, I was saying to Christopher that we speak sometimes whenever Christopher's not there about him all the time and about how great he's doing and how basically we thank fucking Christopher's God <laughs> and, um, for your mommy to like being able to raise such a remarkable fella and okay. just stand up for everything you've believed in in this house including at different occasions me and Chris and different sorts of opinions in the house. Um, you are one person I will not be letting go of whenever I leave this Thank experience. You so much, and my I am God. like I am greatly I'm greatly I see when I'm drunk when I say these things, I fucking mean them. Right. Oh, I Thank <laughs> but you. I see when I leave this experience like I think about it all the time how grateful I am to have met a person like you and you should be so proud of yourself for just being the way you are and one hundred percent yourself since the start. And if you come out on Friday as a winner of this show one, I will not be shocked, and two, I will cry with happiness because you are just a phenomenal, phenomenal man and somebody that I will have in my life whether you want to or not. I will have you in my life for as long as I love because you're yeah. just too much of a good both. friend to, to just let slip away just because you love in London. I said but, um, in the diary room 100 times now and more that Hello. I need one of those to one. Coming up, Ashley gets emotional. If any of them three won at the end of this week, I would be so, so happy for them. And I Good. feel like them three people feel like I wouldn't be. And Helen hears some home truths. You have been the bitchiest person. Uh -huh. In this house, Helen, you have said some of the nastiest things in this house that anyone else said in the whole time that they've been here. Eleven or five PM. Um, Ashley is feeling emotional. I just feel like sometimes that I like I still feel like there's three people in this house that do misunderstand me. Mm -hmm. If them three won at the end of this week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ruining your makeup because of these all these silly tears. Come here. Fuck sake. I'm ruining your makeup, come on. If any of them three won at the end of this week, as much as I because I know I don't have a chance in hell of one in the oh, show. Please. I want it to be your Chris. But I know if it was one of them three, I would be so so happy for them. Uh -huh. And I That's feel good. I know and I That's feel good. like them three people feel like I wouldn't be. The Just the fact they fuck them. <laughs> Sorry. Right, I am putting this drink down until you. you're ready to drink it. <laughs> Thank you. Precious alcohol going right through the sofa. It's like, we do not know that much of it. Let's protect the alcohol. I guess. I hope you're not drunk now. Of course I'm She's not. She's fine. Have you Jesus. been slacking us all off? I've only yeah. had a bottle of sparkling wine. <laughs> oh my God, thank fuck we only have four nights left. Yeah, after this, four nights. Well, you heard what the lady said. After let's this. enjoy it. Let's enjoy, let's enjoy it. But well, you do learn a lot from this situation. Oh, and to 100%. learn this when you're younger than rather when you're older is much better. That's what I think. Like when I'm sitting in the room isolating myself, I'm often thinking of um, types of people that I wouldn't interact with. Yeah. In the outside world, different like in different ways, I would deal with things in the outside world. Yeah. And trust me, it's 100% different. Like, I feel like I've learned a lot from this experience. You'll go um, out and realise how much you've actually learned. Everyone yeah, I'm hoping like, that when I yeah, leave... When you leave, you learn I'm, the most. I realise, yes, I have actually learned from this experience. You will, 100%. And Steve, has made me a better person. Steve's my, Steve's my number one. I would never in a million years be friends with Steve, ever. <laughs> And now I feel like he's one of my best mates like, ever. I say that about and Chris. And I would never ever. I get act, I know you might take offence to that, but Chris wouldn't be my person that I'd no. be friends with outside yeah. world. Also, <laughs> as I said about Helen, but I probably would never have really bothered to get to know yeah, Helen. Yeah, I'm the same with Helen. Mm -hmm. I'm very drunk. <laughs> you make oh, sense. Fuck. Oh, I've had a whole bottle of sparkling wine. You are making sense. Oh, Ash. It's okay. 
as much as you annoy me, I do really appreciate that you're still here. <laughs> Thanks. For whatever reason, you are a genuine housemate and you do make people feel better. Okay. Eleven twenty-six p.m. Christopher, Chris, and Ashley are in a jubilant mood. Let's sing a song, Christopher. What songs? Right. Life is a mystery. mystery. Everyone must stand alone. I hear you call my name, and it feels like a call. Ash is in the diary room. Helen's had a rough time, really, I think. I think she's just had a rough time in general from the whole process. She's strong enough to deal with it, I think. It does hurt her sometimes. She puts on, like, this whole, like, front that she don't, don't really give a shit. I mean, obviously, she doesn't help herself. Um, she can get very aggressive, like, the way she speaks and stuff, but that's just the way she is. Unless you, like, properly know her character and what she's like. It's kind of really, it's hard to understand for some people, I'm guessing. Do you think that Helen puts on a brave face a lot of the time? Yeah, loads. Probably 95% of the time. Helen is alone in the toilet. <laughs> Bells. You are right, kid. What's going on, man? What's wrong with me? Why? Nothing's wrong with you. What Just do you go, mean? Close the door. I don't want them to see me. No one's gonna see you. I, I, what, what's wrong? I'm really embarrassed. I just feel really fucking embarrassed. On like a massive fucking scale. What do you feel is the embarrassing part? All I know is I am gonna look like the biggest fucking horribly bitch when I walk out of this place, and she is gonna walk out with the sun. Gleaming from her fucking arsehole. I've not been anywhere near as horrible yeah, as her. What, yeah, but this is what you don't get. You have been a horrible bitch in case. I you. have. They just show what's happening. So if you, as long as you're aware that you've been you, then it doesn't matter what people think, does it? I don't know. I've had enough, and today is one of those days where I have actually had enough and. Feelings do get the better of me. You have been the bitchiest person. I have. In this house, Helen, no, I'm I looking... haven't. She has as well. Yes, yeah, she has as well, but you have said some of the nastiest things in this house that anyone else said in the whole time that they've been here. So it's not like they've just plucked it out of thin air and they've been like... No, I know. Right. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that for one second. I'm not putting the blame on anybody. I'm just saying I am not the only person in this house that has been wrong, spoke to people like shit and, you know, various other stuff and some people have got away with next to nothing. I don't know. I don't even know where this conversation is going. I don't even know where we're heading with this. I just think you it's should... It's done. It's done. This is me done. I am not doing this. I don't do this crying bullshit. I'm not doing it. I'm not letting, get... I'm not letting anybody get the better of me. Who will be the winner of Big Brother 2000?